Okay, what we wanted to do is introduce uh, HipCast. HipCast is a new software program that is uh, brought to you by the guys over at HipVoice, and that's us. Uh, what the difference between HipVoice and HipCast is, is HipVoice is to be used within the four walls, so within a Wi-Fi network. You get instantaneous uh, communication, push-to-talk communication between one-to-one -one or one-to-many. Uh, HipCast takes it one step further and uh, goes outside of the network. We feel that there's a huge market in the outside of the network. A lot of people in the field mobility side of things um, need the ability to communicate with one another. So what we have here is an MC70 that is connected to a cellular carrier. And just to prove it to you, uh, we're, we're actually in my car, but uh, we'll go one step further and show you that we're not even on a Wi-Fi network. We are actually on a cellular network. And you could see that the Wi-Fi is uh, off the Bluetooth is off and we're connected onto the cellular right down there. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and talk to our dispatcher while we're driving around. And uh, the scenario is, is that uh, we want to enable communication between the dispatcher and drivers or even drivers against other drivers uh, and other personnel even. So uh, what this does is enables a, a, a better way of communicating with each other versus just sending text messages. Although HipCast does send text messages and even sticky notes, and we'll show you that a little bit later in the demo. So I'm gonna go ahead and drive around. You might see a little bit of shadows here and there, because obviously we're just going through, uh, we're going through shadows and trees and stuff like that. But uh, I just wanted to say, Dispatcher, are you there? I think I'm lost right now. Uh, we're trying to look for a certain warehouse, so can you, uh, first of all, tell me if you're there, and second of all, text message me the actual address. And what's happening at this point is carriers traditionally do not allow you to do full-on VoIP on their networks. And that means uh, ever since Skype has come into the equation, um, they said, well, we're not going to allow that because it, 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 it affects their revenues on the cellular side of things. But what we're doing right now is not sending out true VoIP packets. What we're doing is using our technology and our encryption and our encryption uh, algorithms, and we're taking the actual voice, compressing it, and putting our algorithms inside of it, sending it out to the network, and pulling it down, decrypting it, and playing it on the other end. So obviously there's going to be delay in all of this, and you'll see that our, our conversations are definitely going to get faster. It's just I'm sure. Hey, yeah, this is Dispatcher One Two Three. Um, I did get your distress call, and you know what I'm going to do? I will actually drop some directions for you and shoot those over in about a minute. Just hold on one second. I'm doing that now. All right, thank you, Dispatcher. So as you can see, we're driving around and we have full voice uh, going on. Now the benefits of all of this is that few things. Anybody can talk to anybody across any network, across any carrier, anywhere in the world. So I could be on Singular in United States or Sprint on the United States. I could be in uh, Vodafone in Europe. I could be in Telefonica de Mexico. And all of us can communicate with each other. As you can see, that was a message that was just sent to me. I'm going to go ahead and pull over to the side so I can actually see and read that message and play that for you guys. Hopefully we're in a well-lit area. Okay. As you can see, there's a, a sticky message. This is Dispatcher 123. I just sent you a little sketch of what I think you're seeing. Uh, your view is being obstructed by a building in front of you. What you want to do is go around that building and then go around the one behind that and the door is on the back. Do you see that? Yep, I see it loud and clear, Dispatcher. Um, okay, the other thing is, is I'm actually over there at the building, but I see that there's a passcode. Can you um, send me a text message uh, with the passcode so I can get in, please? So as you can see, we had a sticky note that we were just played. Um, and another benefit to, to hip voice is that um, we have the ability, let's say in, in case you actually missed that conversation that the dispatcher said, you can actually go into your messages and replay any of yep, the... I see it loud and clear, dispatcher. Um, okay, the other thing is... This is, is my I'm conversation that I played. Building, but I see that there's a passcode. Can you um, send me a text message uh, with the passcode so I can get in? 
Or I could play the message that the dispatcher sent me. This is dispatcher 123. I just sent you a little sketch of what I think you're seeing. Uh, your view is being obstructed by a building in front of you. What you want to do is go around that building and then go around the one behind that and the door is on the back. Do you see that? So now you can see, even though that there's, there's push-to-talk communication going between back and forth, there's never a dull moment in the sense that you cannot miss any conversation. So that way employees can never say, oh, I didn't get that. They can go back Definitely. into their message it's box. Done. You should have your passcode as a text message. Over. There, there we go. We have our passcode in our text message, and uh, we could take a look at that passcode. And you can see now this is an actual text message versus a sticky message. So... Our dispatcher sent us the passcode is 45678, and we're going to go ahead and get in. So that's HipCast. Again, the ability to, to go through any network, the ability to have voice. Again, it's not true push-to-talk. It's not true voice. But what it is is sending data packets over any carrier and any cellular network. Thank you very much, Dispatcher123. Uh, is there anything else that, uh, that uh, our manager needs for me to pick up? So as I'm, again, going through this, communication is always fast, instantaneous, and some of the other benefits that you have is that no longer do you need an MC70 or MC9000 or even a CN3 and buy two types of networks through the carrier. All you need to do is buy a data network. You don't need to buy a voice network. Can forget about the or if you need the instantaneous voice then yeah you need it but in this case you don't need to save the money use your ROI investment by investing in hipcast and those are the big benefits involved with all of this is that you just need a data data plan and everybody can communicate with everybody drivers can communicate with drivers drivers can communicate with dispatchers you can even create groups or you can create one-to-one -one relationships it's all inside of here all Actually, yes. You know what you could do? Once you make a delivery of the goods, um, just tell them that we would like to capture their signature because we don't have one of their signatures on file. What you could easily do is just uh, capture their signature as a sticky note and uh, shoot it back to me, and then we can put that in file for our records. Thanks. 10-4, Dispatcher123. Thank you very much. And there you have it. Hipcast. Brought to you by the guys over at Hip Voice.